Every time a Chief of the Defence Force of New Zealand is appointed, the sword is passed to that new Chief. When that Chief resigns from his position, it is handed back to Taloa to pass on to the next Chief of Defence Forces. So as a young boy growing up, I always had that inkling to want to join the Army and, and follow in the footsteps of Uncle Hane, a great legend of Te Arua. Uncle Hane, he scaled the, the cliffs of Takruna three times. And in the end, a very small number of men led by Uncle Hane captured a whole platoon. Unbelievable, the ability for him to scale the heights of sheer stone just exemplifies uh, the absolute valour that Uncle Hani had. It was recommended for a Victoria Cross and somewhere between the battlefield and probably um, Whitehall or whatever in, in London it was downgraded to a DCM. I can recall many people being quite uh, disappointed that he was not awarded the Victoria Cross, to which, in my view, uh, he was definitely entitled to. We wanted him to be upgraded to the VC. However, the submission went through to the Queen, who came back and said, very sorry, I will not overrule my father's edict. King George VI had stated that after 1950, there were to be no more awards for uh, bravery from World War II. However, she recognised that he was an extremely brave man and his bravery should be recognised in other respects. So as a result of the, um, the direction that came back from the Queen, that we were to come up as a committee with some ideas of what a suitable recognition would be for, for Te Arawa. The thought of the, the uh, Maori Battalion song and of which God for King and for Country was very prominent, we decided we'd use that as our ethos to decide on these gifts. For God, for King and for Country. For God is the altar cloth. An altar cloth was designed in conjunction with the Minister of Same Faith. The colours are resonant with Te Arua and Her Majesty. The citation was written in recognition of the brave act performed by Lance Sergeant Hane Manahi. The sword itself was held by King George VI. It has been into battle, the Battle of Waterloo, and that sword has been bestowed upon Taurua, the Manahi whānau. On the 17th of March 2007, the Duke, Prince Andrew, brought the Tonga from the United Kingdom to Rotorua. It was made um, quite clear by Prince Andrew that if that sword was to be given to the General, it was to be loaned to the General for the tenure of his time as Chief of Defence Force, and he was to personally bring it back, present it back to Arawa, and then the new incoming General would come at a later stage and be re-gifted it. And the reason for that was to strengthen the bonds between the Te Arawa race and the Defence Force. The sword of gallantry is a very significant taonga to the Chief of Defence Force that adorns his desk in his office to remind him not only of the connection with the Crown and Te Arua, but also the roles and responsibilities that he needs to guide and lead his Defence Force into the future with him. The sword, of course, was a very significant gift in the sense that it's become a living acknowledgement of Hane Manahi, which reminds us 
very much and keeps it in the front of our minds at all times, the, the outstanding and brave deeds that Han and Manahi brought in terms of pride to Te Aro and the pride of Aotearoa New Zealand.